So Yuri Lyubarsky of Ukraine is the referee. And he calls time to get this contest underway. It's an all-Asian encounter between boxers from Korea and Kazakhstan. The taller boxer operating out of the southpaw stance is Kim Inq, 28 years of age. His opponent is just 20, Mahmoud Sabrikan. Part of a maximum size 13 deep Kazakhstan boxing team. He's got to try and find a way to get inside the reach of his much taller opponent. First senior world championship appearance for the man who has just scored with a long right hand to the body. That's the more compact Sabir Khan. Oh, and a left jab causes Kim in to become disorganized. Took a trip to the canvas. I think the lead legs tangled, to be fair. But again, a left jab did catch the southpaw while the legs were entwined. No knockdown. And the contest resumes. Both of these men have stood on a world championship podium before. Third appearance for Kim in Q in 2017. He was a bronze medalist, winning three contests out of four in the 52 kilogram division. And a year later in the World Youth Championships, it was a bronze medal finish for Sabir Khan. Terrific use of the feet from Sabir Khan. Look at that, so characteristic of some outstanding Kazakh boxers down the years and look at the pot shot successes he's having as he's bobbing and weaving in the pocket. There was an exchange, but look at the work through the middle from this comparatively diminutive, speedy little boxer. Terrific work, daring his man to let his hands go, but then using quick feet to close the distance. Wonderful variety. And it was a terrific portion of the round for Sabir Khan. Nice right uppercut before disengaging from Sabir Khan. Again, rapier, quick left hand. My goodness, that is rapid. And despite his advantage in height and range and reach, Kim has been beaten to the punch on a fairly consistent basis through this portion of the round. Same once again, triggering off first was Kim, but the counter from the man in blue is lightning quick. Left hand to the body from Kim may be an attempt to try and slow the man down, but then he was countered by a shot underneath. And look at the success as left jabs and right crosses coming out of the orthodox stance from this brilliant little switch hitter. A terrific display. Spins off the line to get back to the space of center ring. Closing seconds of round number one. Now he's operating as a southpaw. Uses the shoulder to protect that chin. What a blistering round of boxing produced by Mahmoud Sabri Khan. Absolutely sensational stuff. Threatening to bamboozle the 2017 World Championship bronze medalist, Kim in Q. At times must have felt as though he was surrounded. Outstanding performance by Sabir Khan, but how will the judges see it? Well, 10-9 across the board, unanimously in favor of the 20-year-old from Shimkent. Look at some of the action. Kim was trying to establish straight shots, but then, well, there was the tangle of legs, but you can see that a left jab landed clearly to send the man down to the floor. No knockdown rule, but then it was around this portion of the round. Look at the variety. Look at the speed and accuracy from Sabir Khan. Terrific work. Every punch in the book. And Kim in Q was on the receiving end of most of them, which found a home during that successful period of the round. So we go into the second round then. Kim in Q, as well as that World Championship bronze in 2017, made his debut in Sabre Khan's homeland in the 2013 edition of the Aiba World Boxing Championships. Quarter finalist down at 49 kilograms on that occasion. 
But Sabri Khan looking to increase the tempo once again. Well, any boxing aficionado, look at the head of Kim being jolted back again when he's letting his hands go before his punch is fully extended. You see the head snapping backwards, such is the speed of Sabri Khan, and he's closing the distance from going out of range, and he's in range. All of that happening while Kim is looking for his own shots. It's breathtaking to behold from Sabri Khan. Scoring to both body and head with every punch in the book. Look at the disorganization he's bringing about on Kim. His hand was outside of the ropes. Then he was worked over to the body. He's trying to find a range. But again, Sabri Khan, such a small target. There he was caught by a corkscrew right hand. But the overwhelming success coming from the man in blue. This is remarkable to behold. Lightning quick. And given the disparity in size, you can see that he's got a terrific set of wheels on him. Has Sabir Khan as he scores with a reverse one-two out of the orthodox stance. But one wonders whether he could actually move down in weight. But you can see against the towering figure of Kim, he's actually making an asset of his lack of inches. Because he's very difficult to tag cleanly. Dips at the knees, bobs, weaves, rolls. And working the man to body and head once again, maintaining a terrific pace with two minutes 20 gone in this opening round. Kim reduced to swinging and missing. Cannot find a target against this elusive Kazakh switch hitter. Beautiful right hand again, twice. And there's a vocal Kazakhstan contingent in attendance here at the Stark Arena. They've got a loud hailer. Left hand success from Kim, but he's cutting a rather frustrated figure here now. Better of that exchange going in favor. The man in blue once again. Right uppercut, left hook or successful shots from Sabir Khan. Oh my goodness. A perfect punctuation point to conclude that second round. Kim missing with a straight shot. And while he was off the mark, a check left hand was dug in by Sabir Khan, who was out of range because he was stepping off the line. What a blistering second round produced by the four-time national champion of Kazakhstan. Sensational. And as a result, we've got two scorecards returned of 10-8. A fair reflection for my money of what we witnessed in that second round. Absolutely astonishing to behold. Oozing confidence, going about his work. And look at that, hitting without reply. Kim enjoying sporadic success, but his accuracy must be so low because more often than not, he's let his hands go and hasn't found the target. So we go into the third and final round then. And Kim in Q has conceded both rounds completed unanimously. 10-9 across the board in the first round. Two scorecards of 10-8 returned in round number two. He is trailing by some distance as Sabir Khan scores with a two-shot salvo to the body. But that, what we just saw there, has been Kim Inkyu's night in a nutshell, made to miss and then picked off by a single southpaw left. Right hand on an upward trajectory from this man who explodes upwards like he's springing out of a jack-in-the-box. It's been a brilliant display, one to take the breath away. And Kim in Q, while well, he's still going for it, you have to credit the man's commitment. But every time he lets his hands go, look at the price he's paying. Flicking shots coming out from the belt line. And just catching the man, just like that right jab there. Blistering speed of hand and foot from Mahmoud Sabir Khan. Four national titles coming at each of the classification, <laughs> classifications available to him. Schoolboy title back in 2015. Junior title in 2017 as he tags his man cleanly once again. A youth title two years ago followed by his first senior title last year. 
was eliminated in the first preliminary round of the Asian Senior Championships in Dubai. Here he is on the senior global stage for the first time. And he is acquitting himself magnificently. Good right hand to the body by Kim. But again, it's such a difficult target to try and pick off. If you didn't know any better, you would think that this is a catchweight contest. And these two boxers are from different weight divisions. Look at the price Kim has to pay as he landed that roundhouse right. Uppercut is a beautiful shot. And Kim, while he's being bamboozled here, all angled attack being produced by Sabir Khan. And I think that Kim could grow another set of arms and would still have trouble fending off these attacks. They're coming from such a variety of angles and at such blistering speed, like that left hand there. His chin has been touched up repeatedly, Kim Inq, but he's still in there competing. And the man deserves immense credit for that. He's showing plenty of toughness, no little desire, and unquenchable fighting spirit in his bid to progress through to the round of 16 in the bantamweight division. But it's not his night or his afternoon because it's the afternoon session here in Belgrade. And look at the walk back to the red corner from Kim. He must be wondering what he's been in the ring with because it's a whirlwind from Kazakhstan named Mahmoud Sabir Khan. A terrific performance, completely outclassing the 2017 World Championship bronze medalist. And the coach having to say, well, listen, it's one of those things. Hasn't been your day. Let's get the official verdict. Ladies and gentlemen, in the bout number 199 in the ring A, the winner on points by unanimous decision is the boxer out of the blue corner. And there is confirmation of a unanimous points decision verdict for Mahmoud Sabir Khan. Look at the margin of victory. No warnings were issued in this contest, but such was the dominance demonstrated by the four-time national champion of the Central Asian nation that he put clear daylight between himself and the 2017 World Championship bronze medalist, the 2019 Asian Continental silver medalist, comprehensively outboxed by this speedy little switch hitter from Kazakhstan. He romps his way through to the second preliminary round and we'll see him in action again on the 31st of October in the afternoon session. Matthew McHale will be in the other corner and what a contest that promises to be between Scotland's McHale and Kazakhstan's Sabir Khan.